Okay, so that was an interesting day. Going to see uh, <clears throat> Lily the Psychic. I can't escape the feeling that they actually tried to put spirits inside me. I have this ability to measure, to push out what is put in. Magnetically calculating through ones and zeros whether something was put in me by who, when, and where, and being able to take it out. It just seems clearly to me that there are evil spirits inside me from them. Dark elves. Like, uh, I don't know how silly that sounds. Probably thinking of Morrowind and Lord of the Rings, but uh, a dark elf isn't uh, isn't something that you can see with your eyes or hear with your ears. Really, elves are. They're just spirits. So the type of spirit called an elf. It's not uh, what it's made out to be in fantasy novels, like some kind of human with pointy ears. They do have long pointy ears, but they, uh, they just look like these freaky little nymph things. Dark elves seem to be born of the darkness with a certain uh, affinity towards cruelty, but not necessarily. The affinity is an affinity, it's not necessarily a tendency, it's just something they're born with. I've had dark elves help me in the past, but. Uh, these are wicked spirits, things that disguise themselves as demons. All full of magic and hate. I don't know how to beat them because I don't know what their purpose for attacking me is. Elves seem to be neither here nor there when it comes to uh, natural or artificial, living or dead. And I don't mean they're zombies, and I'm not even sure if I mean they're immortal, I just mean you can't kill what's really alive, what's not really alive. They're kind of just like a spirit of nature. They are born, but they're kind of like born out of the essence of nature and its progression start off as plants work into flame and become water and later they become darkness and it seems to produce dark elves just a natural phenomenon so maybe they're here to correct something unnatural or something natural maybe they're here to correct something unnatural that's been done to nature maybe I'm doing something unnatural maybe everyone that's attacked by evil spirits so called evil spirits is really doing something unnatural that needs to be corrected by nature I wouldn't call them the guardians of nature more like activists Maybe I owe nature something. Maybe I did something to it that set it off. Maybe it was when I did black magic. Maybe it was when I brought pain to people through spiritual attacks. Maybe 
It was when I took arrogant and hypocritical actions through the light. It doesn't really matter whether it was light or darkness that I did it in. Just did something unnatural. Now I have to fix it. It's not that the natural order has been corrupted. I believe order is a form of corruption, just like chaos. It should be only nature. Only the flow that promotes us. And only the flow that makes us stronger, makes us grow. Makes us increase. Increase in facets, increase in knowledge, increase in wisdom. Plainly, evolution, but not necessarily the way that modern science suggests it. More in a form of like coming to terms with a new state of being and then attaining that state of being through not necessarily so much expansion as transcendence. It's a, it's a rough thing, being involved in this life, being a spiritualist or a mystic or a whatever you want to call me. But uh, I'm learning every day. And I think, uh, I think I'm going to overcome it. Uh, not the spirits themselves or uh, spiritualism, but all all the problems in the world. Ryan Phelps, a so-called friend of mine that uh, brought me to the native psychic, uh, he said that the psychic lady, Lil or Lillian or Lily, whatever told him that you can't make it with just a spiritual lifestyle and she said that you needed money too and at the same time he admitted that he believed money was the root of all evil so why if he's using why if he believes money is evil is he using it to support himself and more, um, more to the point, why is he supporting money? Because we do all these things, money is supposed to support us. I know it supports me. I don't have to do anything more for my money. I did one thing for it, and that was it. It's over, and I keep getting money. She's going to school. All kinds of schooling in different fields. Paying all this money so he can make money. And doing all this work just for money. Patrick Borges thinks the reason that I don't care about money is because I get free money. But I never cared about money. When I lived with my mom, I was poor. I was poor my whole childhood, very poor. And I never thought to myself, I want more money, or I wish my mom had more money, or I wish my mom spent more money on me. It never came down to that. I just don't care about money. Because it's not important. The things you get with money are important. We just cut out the middleman. Then we wouldn't have to worry about it. And when you say, oh, well, let's just get rid of money, there's a million people that pop up and say, well, then how will we get this or how will we get that? But they're thinking within the constraints of a system based on money. Stop thinking about the money. If we could just give something to somebody when they need it, 
then we wouldn't have to worry about it. Like, you need food. Well, how much food do you need? And I'm not saying give them your entire supply of food. I'm saying, oh, you're hungry. Here's some food. Here's enough to stock your fridge. Here's a meal. Whatever. Or you have no house. I have built a house. Here is your house. Now you live in it. You need power to run your appliances. Here's your power. The reason that we don't have enough resources to go around is because the people with the money, the big money, they take all the resources. Our system supports greed. The more you have money, the more you can take things from everybody else. And Patrick Borges once told me that money are unit, is a unit of control. How much money does it take? How much money do I have to give you for you to make me a sandwich? How much money do you have to give a prostitute for to have sex with you? It's just... People will do anything for money. It's a control system. It's to keep us subservient. It's just to say, well, if I give you the money for this, you have to do it. And you do. You don't really have to. But because of either greed or misunderstanding, you believe that that money merits you doing that. You believe that you should do anything for a million dollars. I know lots of people that say they want to get hit by a car so they can sue the guy to get a lot of money. They don't care if they're paralyzed. They don't care if they lose the use of their legs. They don't even care if they break their neck as long as they get lots of money. Money has contorted their minds. Money has made them believe it's more important than their wellness because in this system, money allows you to totally take away from everyone else, to legally steal what everyone else needs. Why can't things just be free? Why can't we just grow up and be mature and give people things when they need them and share and do things for the sake of our personal enjoyment and the enjoyment of others and the all-round enjoyment and that my friends is the only way we will ever have peace in the universe and that is how I will deal with the dark elves and the demons and all the other spirits not necessarily by eliminating money that would be a nice goal but by sharing making that which is deserved available and not asking anything in return for it. Just think about the word price. It's in religion, it's in schools, it's in your workplace, it's in the stores, it's everywhere you go. Everything seems to come with a price and by the way that's the main principle of magic is price because with magic you're doing evil you're trading darkness for light even when you don't know you're doing evil i tried over and over again to use magic for good but you can't even if you do a good thing with it it creates evil somewhere else and it balances out <sighs> and fucks up all the good you try to do, or later on reverses it with something of an evil equal to the good you did. That is price. When everything you do has a negative consequence, and I don't just mean negative, I mean something that hurts you, something that gouges you, something that costs you. Think about the word cost. When something is taken away from you, when something is burdened on you, when you go into debt, price and cost and sacrifice are painful and they are there to hurt us because that is what they do, that is the meanings of those words is detriment and we 
need no longer detriment ourselves. We need no longer detriment others. We need no longer detriment objects or events or any life form. Detriment is unnecessary. Even destruction can be a benefit. It doesn't have to be a detriment. Every single action can be done beneficially and not detrimentally. You just have to know how to help. To help others instead of taking from them, instead of charging them, instead of there being a cost and a price and a sacrifice and a payment. The Bible says no forgiveness can be given without blood, without the spilling of blood. That's why they say they sent Jesus, because God had to spill blood over you, because he had to kill for what you did. What an excuse for murder. You did something bad, so I'm going to hurt somebody else. You can't solve a problem with a problem. And you can't solve violence with violence. And you can't end a fight by fighting. You think you can. You think the fight's over, but no, the fight continues on in the loser's heart. And if you leave them alive, they either come back to fight you again, or they'll hate you forever. And that's the price, the sorrow, the hate, the pain. You cannot win by detrimenting, or someone will always be a loser. Either we all win, or we're all fucked. Because if we can't help each other, and there's no reason to help ourselves. What's a world where you can't help each other? Hell. That's why people are suicidal. That's why people want to end their lives or end all existence. But there's another option. We can all be happy. Among other things. We just need to help each other out. And we just need to stop making each other pay.